today's uh, class we will continue the last class problems exercise 1a so today first problem is find the equation of circum circle of the triangle formed by the lines 2x plus y is equal to 4 2x plus y is equal to 4 x plus y is equal to 6 x plus 2y is equal to 5 now we have to find out we have to find out the equation of circum circle so to find the equation of circum circle what we have to do is see here what are these three represents these three represents the sides of a triangle that means x plus 2y is equal to 4 equation 1 x plus y is equal to 6 equation 2 x plus 2y is equal to 5 equation 3 now the, these are the three equations so first what we do is we find the three vertices of a triangle we find the three vertices of a triangle see now a b c are the three vertices i am representing them as a b c now side a b is represented by the equation x 2x plus y is equal to 4 okay so this is equation 1 and x plus y is equal to 6 represents side bc and x plus 2y is equal to 5 represents side ac so to find the equation of circum circle first we find out all the three vertices then we find out the equation of circum circle okay so first we find out we solve 182 solve 182 see we are solving the two equations by elimination method. So, 2x plus y is equal to 4, x plus y is equal to 6. So, I am solving to eliminate any one of the variables, either x or y. So, here, clearly y can be eliminated by subtracting. So, we subtract. This is minus, minus, minus. Okay. So, 2x minus x is x. Plus y minus y cancels is equal to 4 minus 6 is minus 2. So, substitute x is equal to minus 2 in equation 1. So, what is equation 1? It is 2x plus y is equal to 4. See, x is equal to minus 2. We are substituting in equation 1. So, I am writing the equation 1. 2x plus y is equal to 4. So, x value, I am substituting. So, 2 into minus 2, 2 into minus 2 plus y is equal to 4. So, minus 4 plus y is equal to 4. So, what is y value? It is clearly 4 plus 4, 8. So, we got the y value. y value is 8. So, now what is point A here? Point A is minus 2, 8. This is point A. It is minus 2, 8. Then after that, then after that, we solve 2 and 3. See, we solve 1 and 2 we get. Now we we'll solve 2 and 3 to get one more point C. So 2 and 3. X plus Y is equal to 6. Then X plus 2Y is equal to 5. So we are eliminating X. Clearly we can eliminate X. Plus X minus X cancel. So minus y is equal to 1. So, y is equal to we get minus 1. Now, we get the x value. So, substitute y is equal to minus 1 in equation 2 or 3. So, I am taking equation 2. Substitute this. So, uh, x plus y is equal to 6 is an equation 2. x minus 1 is equal to 6. x is equal to 6 plus 1 we get 7. Now we got point B. So what is point B we are getting? It is 7 comma minus 1. So we got point B. Next what we have to do? We have to solve 1 and 3 or 3 and 1. Both are same. So we will solve. Solve 1 and 3. Okay. Solve 1 and 3. So when we solve 1 and 3, this now we here see this is equation 1. What is equation 1? 2x plus y is equal to 4. 2x plus y is equal to 4. Equation 3 is 
x plus uy is equal to 5. So we have to eliminate either x or y. So to eliminate x, what I do is I multiply equation 3 with 2. So that we can eliminate x terms. 2x, 2x we can eliminate. So first I write equation 1. That is 2x plus y is equal to 4. Now uh, equation 3 I multiply with 2. So that is 2x plus 4y is equal to 10. 2x plus 4y is equal to 10. Now we are subtracting. Minus, minus, okay. So these two cancels. Minus 3y is equal to minus 6. Minus 3y is equal to minus 6. So what is y is equal to? It is minus 6y minus 3. So y value is 2. So after getting y value, what we have to do? Substitute y is equal to 2 in equation 1 or 3. Any one we can use. So what is 1? This is 1 or 3. So I am substituting 1. So equation 1 or 3. You can use either equation 1 or 3. I am using equation 1. So I will substitute now. So equation 1 is 2x plus y. Okay, right. 2x plus y is equal to 4. So 2x plus 2 is equal to 4. 2x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. Now what is point C? Point C is 1 comma 2. Okay. Now see here we got all the three vertices of a triangle. We got A, B, C. All the three vertices. So after getting all the three vertices, what we do is we assume the circle equation. After getting all the three points, we will assume the circle equation. So, let the equation of circle be assume as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. As already we completed 1, 2, 3 equations. So, this will be equation 4. We will assume that as equation 4. Now what are the points we got? See, we got minus 2 comma 8 as one point and 7 comma minus 1 as a second and what is the third one? 1 comma 2. Now what you have to do is, earlier we did, last class is we did, when we have 3 points, how we find the circle equation? Substitute minus 2 comma 8 in equation 4. We get one equation. So 7 comma minus 1 also, you substitute in equation 4, we get equation number 6. 1 comma d is substitute in equation 4, we get equation 7. Then you solve them and find the equation of circle. Okay. So from here, you try to solve the problem. After getting 3 points, what we have to do? Substitute all the 3 points in equation 4. Again, we get 3 different equations. We get equation 5, equation 6, equation 7. After getting the 3 equations, what you do is solve 5 and 6. You have to solve 5 and 6. Okay. See, solve 5 and 6 and eliminate C. After that, you will get equation 7. Okay. Sorry. 8. You will get equation number 8. Then after that, what you do is solve. After 5 and 6, you have to solve 6 and 7. You will get equation 9. So, in both the cases, you have to eliminate C. You have to eliminate C. In both the cases, you have to eliminate C. You will get equation 8, equation 9. Then what you do is, you have to solve 8 and 9. So when you solve this 8 and 9, you will start getting F value or G value. Then substitute back and continue. You will get all the three values G, F and C. Then after getting all the G, F, C values, substitute back with this equation of circle. Okay, so you try this problem. Right. So this is completed. See, next is uh, we have a formulas. Just note it down. No, these are the formulas. First one is the length of x intercept made by the circle on x axis. The length of x intercept made by the circle on x axis is 2 into under root of g square minus c. See, that means the circle, the circle is intersecting x-axis. I can see here. Now, this is the coordinate axis. Now, what is length of x-intercept made by the circle on x-axis? 2 into 1 of g square minus c. So, 
So how to represent this? Draw one circle. So the circle is cutting its axis at two points. The circle is cutting its axis at two points. A and B. Then what is this length AB called? This length AB is called length of its intercept. Circle is cutting its axis at two points A and B. So the length AB is called x intercept made by the circle on x axis. So this length is given by 2 into under root of g square minus c. And next one is the length of y intercept made by the circle on y axis is 2 into under root of f square minus c. So you know the same thing. Here the circle cuts y axis at 2 points. The circle cuts y axis at 2 points. At two points, what are those two points A and B? So this length is called the length of y intercept made by the circle on y axis, and this length is given by 2 into under root of f square minus c. So these are the two important formulas. Please note down. So next problem: uh, find the equation of circle. Passing through origin and making intercepts 4, 3 on x axis and y axis respectively. So, here you have to find the equation of circle using the condition of intercepts 4 and 3. Okay. So, first what we do in this problem is we assume the equation of circle. So, let, let the equation of circle we assume as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 as equation 1. We are assuming the general equation. Now after assuming the general equation, it is given that the required equation of circle, here required equation means the equation which we are going to find is passing through origin. That means circle passes through origin. Whenever a point passes through origin, what we have to do? This point we have to substitute in this equation. So, instead of x, I will substitute 0. Instead of y, I will substitute 0. So, when we substitute 0, 0 plus 0. Again, here also we have x term. 2g is eliminated, 2f is eliminated. Only c will be left. So, circle passes through origin implies what is the value of c? It is 0. So, whenever a circle passes through origin, what is direct value you get C as 0. You can substitute and check, you get C value or you can write directly. So, whenever a circle passes through origin, substitute and check, you get C value as 0. Substitute in this equation, you get C value as 0. So, after getting the C value, what we have to do is see, it is given. What is given? It is given that the length of x intercept. The length of x intercept is 4. Length of x intercept is given as 4. So what, what, what is length of x intercept given? It is given by the formula. It is given by the formula. 2 into under root of g square minus c is equal to right s r minus 4. See what is length of x intercept given? 4. That means Length of x intercept is 2 into under root of g square minus c is equal to input plus r minus 4. Why it is plus r minus 4? The reason is here the x intercept may be positive side or may be negative side. See, this is x axis. That minus 4 may be this side or this side. We don't know which side. We just gave x intercept is 4. So it may be on the positive side or on the negative side. So we don't know which side it is. So that's the reason we take plus or minus. After that, see, 2 into what is c value? 0. Okay. If I substitute c is equal to 0, we left with 2 into under root of g square. But under root of g square is g. I'll repeat, c value is 0. If I substitute, this is eliminated. Under root of g square is g. So 2g is equal to plus or minus 4. 
So G value is plus R minus 2. Right? Plus R minus 2. So we got G value. After getting G value, next. The length of Y intercept. The length of Y intercept is given as 3 because intercepts 4 and 3, so Y intercept is 3. That means 2 into under root of x square minus c is equal to plus or minus 3. It is plus or minus 3. Okay. Now c value is 0. So 2f is equal to plus or minus 3. So what is f value? Plus or minus 3 by 2. So f value is plus or minus 3 by 2. Now we have g, f and c. Now all the three values we have just substitute back in equation 1. So we will substitute this. So now substitute g, f and c in equation 1. So what is equation 1? It is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. I'll substitute the value. So we write it as x squared plus y squared plus 2gx. You can write plus r minus 2 g value to x. Because g value is plus r minus 1 ready. Plus r minus 2 into 2 into x. Then plus r minus 2 into x value is 3 by 2. Y. C value is 0. Okay, C value is 0. Then, 2, 2 we cancel. So, what is the equation of circle? X squared plus Y squared plus R minus 4X plus R minus 3Y is equal to 0 is the equation of circle. So, this is completed. So, next question. Similar question, you try this problem. Find the equation of circle passing through origin. Find the equation of circle passing through origin 0, 0 and making intercepts 6, 4. That means on x intercept it is 6 units, on y intercept it is 4 units respectively. That means you have to find out equation of circle when x intercept is given and y intercept is given. It is similar to the previous problem. So, please try this problem. So, with this, we have one more problem to complete. Okay. So, we will do the next problem. Okay, next question. Find the equation of circle which is concentric with the circle x square plus y square minus 6x minus 4y minus 4 is equal to 0 and passing through minus 2 comma 14. Okay, so before doing this, we have to know what, what are concentric circles. So, what are concentric circles? Two circles having the same center. See, two circles having the same center are concentric circles. So, now this is the same center we have for both the circles. See, here the equation of circle is given x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y minus squared is equal to 0. So we have to find out another equation of circle which is concentric to the given circle. That means here one more important point is if two circles are concentric, if two circles are concentric, they have same center but they differ in radius. But they differ in radius. If two circles are concentric, they have same center. But they differ in radius. So here what we do is, see, first we write the given equation. What is given equation? x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 as equation 1. Now what we do is, we will assume, let the equation of circle concentric with the circle 1. Let the equation, we are assuming, let the equation of circle concentric with equation 1 is, see, we get the same equation. 
it's square plus y square minus 6x minus 4y. As they differ by radius, in the equation in, in which way they differ, they differ in a constant. Instead of minus 12, we write plus k is equal to 0 and put it as equation 2. See, two circles are concentric, they have same center but they differ in radius. But how we show the difference in radius in equation is just in whatever the constant they give, remove the constant and add k. Now, in this equation, we have to find out k. So, how to find out k? In a one more condition, the required equation of circle passes through minus 2 comma 4. It is giving the problem that this equation passes through minus 2 comma 4. So, here I write minus 2 comma 4 and I substitute this in equation 2. Why do I have to substitute? Because it is giving the problem the required equation of circle or the circle which is concentric to equation 1 passes through minus 2 comma 4. So, this minus 2 comma 4 I am substituting in equation 2. So, substitute minus 2 square 4 and 14 square is 196. 14 square is 196. Then, plus, uh, sorry, minus 6 into minus 2, minus 4 into 14, plus k is equal to 0. You simplify this. So, this is 200 plus 6 to the 12, minus 56, plus k is equal to 0. 14 goes of 56. Now, this will be uh, 212 minus 56 plus k is equal to 0. So, if you simplify this, you get 156 plus k is equal to 0. Uh, so, what is k value we get? Minus 156. k value is minus 156. After getting the k value, what we have to do is, we have to substitute back. So, k is minus 156. Now, substitute k is equal to minus 156 in equation 2. In equation 2, in equation which we have, which we have k. Substitute this. So, we get x square plus y square minus 6x minus 4y and k value is minus 156. I am substituting here. Minus 156 is equal to 0 is the required equation of circle. So, this completes this problem as well as this completes a size 1a. So, next uh, we complete x size 1a or x size 1b. In x size 1b, we have some formulas. So, first is notations n o t a t i o n s it is notations so we represent some equations with notations with some letter notation means suppose you have equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f i plus c is equal to 0 we represent this equation with s so whenever we get s is equal to 0 it is understood that it is a general equation of circle. Okay. So, next one is S1. So, how to represent the notation S1? It is xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. So, this is S1 notation. You have to buy out this notation. And next S11. S11 is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. Okay, so these are the three notations you have to buy part. Using the notations, we have some more formulas. So, that the first one is the position of a point with respect to the circle s is equal to 0 at x1 comma y1 is. See, here the position of a point. So, how to represent the position of a point? Suppose you consider a circle. This is center. Okay. Now, a point P is equal to x1, y1 is a point in plane. P is equal to x1, y1 is a point in plane. Now, we have to locate the position of this point with respect to the given equation of circle. So, how we locate that point? The location of the point depends on S11. 
So you have to use this S11 notation. So if S11, we find out S11 with respect to a given point in circle, if this S11 greater than 0, point lies outside the circle. If the S11 is less than 0, less than 0 means a negative value, the point lies inside. If S11 is equal to 0, the point lies on the circle. So, here the position of a point means you have to find out S11 and you will check whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0 or equal to 0. Okay, so this is our next formula. The power of a point, the power of a point x1, y1 with respect to the circle S is equal to 0 is S11. So, to know the power of a point with respect to the circle S is equal to 0 is S11. Now, what is power of a point? Power of a point means here we have a circle center and we also have radius. What is radius? We denote it as half. Now, where is point P, x1, y1? P, x1, y1 is a point in plane. Now, what is power of a point? The power of a point means it is nothing but Cp square minus R square. See, what is P? The P is a point x1, y1 is any point in plane. This point may be outside or inside. You don't it may be anywhere outside or inside. So, Cp square, that means the distance between these two, the square of the distance, Cp square minus R square means what? The radius. Cp square minus R square. This gives the power of a point. If we simplify C T square minus R square, we get S11. So simply, whenever we are finding the power of a point with respect to the circle, we find S11. So this is the second formula. So next one also is there. Next one, the length of a tangent to the circle S is equal to 0 at x1, y1 is under root S11. Length of a tangent, now what is a tangent? Suppose we have a circle. See, length of tangent is first we have to know what is a tangent. Tangent means if a line touches a circle at one point, if a line touches a circle at one point, the line is called tangent. So here we will find out the length of this tangent. So how what is the length of the tangent when a circle equation is given? The length of a tangent when circle is given to you, this is equal to 0 as a circle, with respect to a point x1, y1 is under root s1. So you should know you have to by heart these locations, then easily you can apply these formulas. Okay. So exercise 1b, first problem. Locate the position of a point P 3 comma 4 with respect to the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12. So here we have to check the position of a point. That means we have to check whether the point lies inside, outside or on the circle. So to check this what we do is we have to find out S11. So it depends on S11. If S11 greater than 0 lies outside. If S11 less than 0 lies inside. If S11 is equal to 0 lies on the circle. So S11 is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. Now what is the point given to us? It is 3 comma 4. So we are substituting 3 square 9, 4 square 16 and what is 2g? Coefficient of x is 2g. So that is minus 4 into 3. Coefficient of y is 2f. That is minus 6 into y1 is 4. Here coefficient of x will be 2g. 2g is 2g is 4. So 4. And x1 is 0.3. Coefficient of y is 2f. So that is minus 6 into y1 is 4. Plus c. Constant is given as minus 12. So let's simplify this. It is 25 minus 12 minus 24 minus 4. 4 3s are 12, 6 4s are 24 and minus 12 as well. So 25, 25 minus 12 minus 24 is minus 36. Minus 36 and minus 12 is minus 48. So we get 23. It is minus 23. 25 minus 48 is minus 23. 
So clearly, S11 is less than zero. This S11 less than zero. Then what is the position of the point? So we say the point lies on. Sorry, the point lies. See, we say the point lies inside the circle. We say the point lies inside the circle because we got S11 less than zero. That's all. Complete. Similar problem. Try this problem. Locate the position of a point. One comma five with respect to the circle. Locate the position of point one comma five with respect to the circle. X square plus y square minus two x minus four y plus three is equal to zero. Just you try this one. Okay. After that, the next question. Find the power of a point five comma minus six with respect to the circle. X square plus y square plus eight x plus twelve y plus fifteen is equal to zero. So the power of a point is nothing but c b square minus r square. But c b square minus r square is nothing but s one one. So just find out s one one again. We get some value. That value gives the power of the point with respect to the circle. We find out s one one. We get a value. That value is the power of a point with respect to the circle. So s one one notation is. X one square plus Y one square plus two G X one plus two F Y one plus C is S one. Now we we'll substitute five square twenty five minus six square thirty six. Two G is nothing but coefficient of X eight into five. This one is five and two F here two F is nothing but coefficient of Y twelve. So it is. 12 into minus 6. 12 into minus 6 plus c. That means plus 15. So 25 plus 36 is 61 plus 40 minus 72. So this is 72 plus 15. So 61 plus 40 is 101. Minus seventy two plus fifty. We subtract these two. It is minus fifty seven. So now hundred and one minus fifty seven. Hundred and one minus fifty seven is answer. It is forty four here. Hundred and one minus fifty seven is. 44. So, what is power of a point with respect to the circle? The power of a point with respect to the circle is 44. So, this completes the problem. So, next, a similar problem you try. Find the power of a point minus 1 comma 1 with respect to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y. Minus twelve is equal to zero. Try this problem. Next question. Uh, find the length of tangent from minus two comma five with respect to the circle x square plus y square minus twenty y is equal to zero. Find the length of tangent in the circle x square plus y square minus twenty y is equal to zero with respect to the point minus two comma five. So the length of tangent. The length of tangent. The length of tangent with respect to the circle S is equal to zero at x one comma y one is under root of S one one. Under root of S one one. So now under root of S one one notation x one square plus y one square. Plus two g x one plus two f y one plus c plus two f y one plus c is length of tangent. Now we find out. So under root of the point is given to us. What is the point minus two comma five? So I am substituting now. X one square is four. Y one square twenty five. Now coefficient of 
x from the equation of circle is 2g. Here, what is the equation of circle? It is the equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 25 is equal to 0. So, here in the equation, we have x square, y square, but we don't have x term and y term. That means if we have x term, we can get g value. If we have y term, we can get f value. So here x term and y terms are not there. That means those coefficients are 0. That means g value 0, f value is also 0. But we just write 0 and 0. 0 and 0 into anything is 0, 0 into anything is 0. Now what is constant? Minus 25. So substitute that minus 25. So now after substituting, plus 25 minus 25 cancels. What is square root of 4? It is 2. So what is length of a tangent? 2 units. So this completes the problem. Next question. If the length of tangent from 5 comma 4 to the circle x square plus y square plus 2ky is equal to 0 is 1. Try to find the value of k. So here length of tangent is given as 1. That means what is given here? It is given that root s11 is 1. Length of tangent is 1. Now square them on both sides. So we get s11 is equal to 1 square 1. Okay, we will eliminate the root s square. After that what we do is we write down the notation of s11. x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c is equal to 1. See, root s11 is given as 1. Length of tangent is 1. Square them on both sides so that the root get eliminated from the notation and 1 square 1. After that, write the notation and equal to 1. Now, what is the point given? It is 5 comma 4 there. Substitute that. 5 squared, 25, 6, 4 squared, 16. Then, what is 2g? 2g is nothing but, see again I will repeat the circle equation, x square plus y square plus 2ky is equal to 0. From the equation, we don't have x term. If you have x term, the quotient of x will become 2g. But here we don't have x term. So, 2g value is understood to be 0. 0 into 5 is 0. Plus, what is coefficient of y in the equation of circle? It is 2k. So, 2k into, what is the value of y1? It is 4. Plus, c, we don't have any constant. So, it is understood to be 0 and just equal to 1. We don't have c value. It is understood to be 0. So, now, we get 41 plus 8k is equal to 1. 25 plus 6 is 41 plus 8k is equal to 1. So, what is 8k we get? It is minus 40. Then what is k value? Minus 40 by 8. So k value is minus 5. So this completes the problem. You try a similar problem. The problem is if the length of tangent from 2 comma 5 to the circle x square plus y square minus 5x plus 4y plus k is equal to 0 is root 37. Find k. So try this problem. Okay. So this completes the class. So next class we will continue.